Hello again. This video is going to be on the difference between low mass and high mass stars. Um, since we said in the last video that the mass of a star is very important to determining its life, we need to understand a little bit more about low mass versus high mass stars. Um, by the way, even though I'm putting this as number two, uh, a lot of this information in this video is from section 22.1 um, in your textbook. So the important thing about low mass versus high mass is their lives are going to be different. They evolve differently. And remember when we say evolve, we are talking about how the star changes with time, how its properties change as its fuel source changes. Okay, so what is a low mass star? A low mass is defined as a star that has a mass less than eight times the mass of our sun or eight solar masses. We've seen solar luminosities, right? The luminosity, the same as our sun. Same thing here with masses. So a low mass star, those are gonna be red and orange and even some yellow stars that have less mass than our sun. Okay, that's a low mass star. Um, on the other end, high mass stars are the big blue ones. Um, we'll see how this all works with the HR diagram. Okay, um, and we're going to get to all of that eventually, but for now, we're just going to talk about in general that stars with larger masses, high mass stars, stars with larger masses have more hydrogen. I hope that makes sense for fusion. Okay, they start out with more hydrogen in their core, so they have more fuel. Um, we're going to see, though, that even though they have more fuel, they're going to have a shorter lifetime on the main sequence. Here's a picture of our main sequence again. And so right now what I want you to understand is how a bigger star could have a shorter lifetime. So we start out with more mass. What does that mean? If you have more mass, you have more hydrogen, right? But you also have stronger gravity. More mass causes stronger gravity, okay? Gravity is related to how much stuff you have. More stuff, more gravity, okay? Um, what does that matter? Well, if you have more gravity, that causes higher um, pressure and temperatures in your star. So it causes higher pressure and temperature. You remember when we were talking about the sun and we had this balance called hydrostatic equilibrium? That was the balance between gravity and pressure. So if you have more gravity, you have to have more pressure to balance it. That's what hydrostatic equilibrium says because you don't want that star to explode or implode. And pressure is related to temperature. Remember, as you get deeper into the sun towards the core, gravity, pressure, temperature, density, they all increase. So in an even bigger star, even bigger than the sun, you're going to have more, more, more of all of those things. Gravity, higher pressure, higher temperature. And if you have higher temperature, especially, right, remember how that higher temperature was related to fusion? So you needed a high temperature for those hydrogen protons to bond together. They had to go fast enough to overcome the electric repulsive force um, and bond together with a strong nuclear force. If you have even more high temperature, right, higher temperature, um, it's going to cause 
more fusion, faster fusion. So higher temp causes faster fusion. You didn't think you'd have to remember all that stuff about the fusion in the sun, but here it is again, and we're going to see it a couple of times. Um, and the amount of fusion, the amount of energy a star is making is related to how much energy it puts out. Um, so it's also going to have more luminosity. Right, that's the other energy balance that we talked about in the sun applies to other stars. More energy made, energy made equals energy released. More fusion, faster fusion means more luminosity. So we've come through this cycle and I'm going to kind of put it all together here with a therefore statement. Therefore, even though these high mass stars have more fuel, so even with more hydrogen to begin with, more fuel, the high mass stars have shorter lifetimes and they evolve more quickly. Okay, And when I mean lifetime, I'm going to say it's overall lifetimes, but I'm going to be more specific and say on the main sequence before they begin sort of their death cycle. So they have shorter lifetimes on the main sequence when they're burning hydrogen before their fuel changes, shorter lifetimes, and that means that they are going to evolve more quickly. At the beginning of this video, I said that high mass and low mass stars evolve differently. One of the main ways they evolve differently is that high mass evolve more quickly. Why do they evolve more quickly? More mass, stronger gravity, higher temperature and pressure, faster fusion, more luminosity, they burn hot, fast, and they die more quickly. Okay, so that is high mass versus low mass in a nutshell. Um, we will get into the details of that later.